If you or someone you know is in an abusive situation, there are people who can help. The National Domestic Violence Hotline offers 24-7 support. You can reach them at 1-800-799-SAFE, SAFE. That's 1-800-799-7233. Ladies, domestic violence is not a joke. Listen, Diane M. Sorrows, age 42, and her boyfriend, age 46, gunned down December 20th, 2023, in Boring, Oregon, outside of not far from Portland, Oregon. Now, this happened by her estranged husband, age 54, who later committed suicide. God bless the family. Damn. County in Clackamas County. Sheriff investigators named the victims from the scene in Boring and the suspects. We're learning one of the victims tried to take steps to protect herself in the past. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Rick Gazaway. Before we break down these brand new court documents, let's get you caught up on the case. Well, Noma County Sheriff's deputies say this is a double murder suicide. They say Lawrence Peters shot Brian Rowland and Diane Sorrows at a home in Boring. They say he then drove to Clackamas and killed himself. Ladies, it's a new day and a new time. It's time to get trained and get armed. Stop playing games. Get trained and armed. This all unfolded between 4 and 8 a.m. yesterday morning. Court records show Soros and Peters were married in the past. Brand new today, K2 obtained court records that show Soros tried to get a restraining order against Peters in July of 2022. Soros detailed five allegations of abuse. She says Peters locked her in a closet in February of last year with a gun and threatened to kill himself and others. Quote, there were suicide letters and he was talking about taking the lives of anyone that had wronged him by name before taking his own life. She says she managed to grab the gun and lock it in a safe. She wrote in the petition that she grabbed her phone to call 911. She says, quote, Peters threatened that if I call the police, they wouldn't make it to me in time. He repeated this several times until I agreed not to call. Clackamas County Judge Yolanda Watkins denied the restraining order request. The judge checked the box saying Soros did not establish a claim for relief. I wanted to know why the judge made this decision. I reached out to her. A spokesperson responded saying the court had nothing to add beyond the court documents. Domestic violence advocates say restraining orders can be hard to get. In Oregon, the alleged abuse must have happened within the last 180 days. Additionally, advocates say the document itself takes a while to fill out. It can be very confusing if you don't have a legal background. Finally, actually filing it in court is often just the first step. I spoke with Rachel shuts at the Family Justice Center of Washington County for a special report on restraining orders in early November. Once the court receives it, you appear in front of the judge and the judge either grants it or does not grant it. Um, and whether or not it's granted is up to the individual judge. And then within 30 days, the person you have the restraining order against can contest that restraining order, which means you as the victim have to go to court um, with the abuser or alleged abuser in the same courtroom and you both need to argue why you want the restraining order, they don't believe the restraining order is in place. That's a huge burden for survivors. Once again, we spoke to Rachel in early November, long before this case. You can find our prior reporting on what advocates say Oregon can do to make restraining orders better on K2.com right now. It's unclear what exactly happened in Soros and Peter's case. K2 has continued to dig into the details and why the judge ultimately denied that 2022 request for a restraining order. If you or someone you know is in an abusive situation, there are people who can help. The National Domestic Violence Hotline offers 24-7 support. You can reach them at 1-800-799-SAFE, SAFE. That's 1-800-799-7233. We also have a list of resources on our website. Ladies, these ex-boyfriends, ex-husbands, estranged husbands, they coming back. We see it all the time. They come back and kill you. Get trained and get armed. Protect yourselves. Protect your kids and 
family. Damn. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.